Okay, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Infinity Ward Zombie Mode Trailer, Zombies in Spaceland. It's a theme park map. It definitely is taking place in the 1980s, and it looks very similar to the zombie game mode that we're used to playing, but it does have a slight comedic twist to it. I think that the setting is absolutely uh, hilarious and a little bit ironic seeing how uh, we've got Infinite Warfare, which is taking place in outer space, and then we have this theme park called Spaceland. So I think that's pretty clever. It's on the ground, but uh, it's also got a space theme to it. Very good. So unfortunately, I cannot play this trailer for you guys with the audio because it does contain copyright music. However, at the end, I will be breaking it down. We'll stop it and clip it up and check out some of the cool stuff. So right now, it's obviously going over our playable characters. And one cool thing about that is they all seem to be the typical characters that you would see like in a high school setting. You got the jock, you got the preppy girl, you've got the nerd, and you got the uh, dude in the full track suit, like hip hop guy from the 1980s. So that's pretty cool. We get a look at a few weapons here. Uh, we get a look at um, just some, some very strange stuff. That zombie's taking off into outer space. There it is, zombies in space land. And then, so there's a boss zombie it looks like as well. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go over some of the key points of this video and see what this take on zombies has to offer. And that's David Hasselhoff right there. The freaking Hoff. So one of the first things that I noticed that I really wanted to point out, and it's a pretty small thing, but I think it's important. We see our characters paying for debris to remove it. So I was a little worried that zombies might go off the rails a little bit and they're gonna try something different at Infinity Ward, but it looks like the same basic structure for getting around the map is in place. We're gonna buy barriers to get them out of the way to advance the map, that is a good sign. So something very cool, very small again, but look at this, we've got ourselves a new melee item to kill zombies with, it's an ax. Such a simple idea, I cannot believe it hasn't been in zombies up to this point. We have an ax being carried by Poindexter right there. So it's a little too early to tell, but we might be getting a look at our first wonder weapon within IW Zombies, or simply it's just an energy-based weapon from multiplayer carried over to Zombies. I'm not sure, but it's letting off a whole lot of light and it's massive. You can see it in the female character's hands. Now here we have a look at one of the traps in the game. This is obviously an amusement park ride. It's some rockets going around in a circle. But as you can see in the background, the zombies are getting absolutely destroyed by it. So they're using some of the amusement park rides as traps. Here we see Poindexter taking a roller coaster to get around the map. But if we stop, we will get our first look at what is the mystery box or whatever they're going to call it in IW. And we'll see further evidence of that in just a minute. But it does have a light protruding from the top of it. So it'll be easy for us to find. So I'm glad that's back in zombies as well. So this might be the coolest thing I saw in the trailer. This is a boom box. It's got an explosive device duct taped to the side of it. The zombies are distracted by it and literally start break dancing. It then explodes. This is IW's version of a monkey bomb and it is quite literally a boom box. So here we get introduced to our characters. We've got Andre. We have got Poindexter. We've got Sally. And we have got AJ. I'm sure we're gonna learn more about these characters in the upcoming weeks and what their roles are gonna be within Zombie Spaceland. And like we saw earlier on the roller coaster ride, we get a good look at the new mystery box. They're calling it the Magic Wheel. You get a close look at some of the guns you can pick from it. Unfortunately, the HUD's turned off, so we don't know prices quite yet. But it's good that we have this random way to get weapons. I think that is a very, very good thing in zombies. So. Another thing that I'm very glad to see returning in Infinity Ward's version of Zombies. I hate clowns, but we have zombie clowns, goddammit. Now I wanted to stop this image right here. If we look on the right hand side of the screen, we definitely see the word travel above what looks to be like a teleporter. And I also think we saw earlier in the trailer uh, our characters coming out of this. So it looks like we'll have teleportation devices throughout the map. Uh, which is always a good thing. So here we have a look at Andre using brass knuckles, another melee confirmed, and then Sally using some sort of mega push hand melee to absolutely destroy the zombie. And we get our first look at a power drop, and it looks to be some sort of zombie points. We get to check out another new trap. This one looks like it is attracting the zombies. They start break dancing on the floor, and then the damn disco ball in the sky starts shooting down beams 
of lasers all over the zombies and killing them. It's a pretty cool trap. Another potential wonder weapon, I think this one really might be one because it's freezing the zombies so it's got some very special properties to it. So it's massive and it looks pretty epic. And for some reason, this is the thing. I don't know what's happening here. It looks painful. Rest in peace, zombie. And that is pretty much it. Now guys, I have no idea what I was looking for when it came to Perca-Cola machine. So maybe it's something that we just don't know what it looks like. Or maybe you guys saw one and you will let me know that in the comment section. What do you guys think of this? I think it's epic looking. I absolutely love the 80s theme. I am extremely excited about this. It is okay to disagree down in the comment section. Try to be respectful of one another's opinion. I'm also going to put a map of the map on the screen. You guys can pause that. Check out the points of interest on the upcoming Zombies and Spaceland. Guys, if you enjoyed this in-depth breakdown, please do drop a like on the video. And as always, it has been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you... Ah, uh, next time.